What's going on guys? I just want to start this video with a little mini update for the RZ. Uh, if you haven't seen this car, go check out the video I just put up not too long ago, kind of outlining everything about it. Ultra rare, one of 150 type RZs in 93. Really uh, outstanding car for many reasons that I won't get into because it'll take me 10 minutes just to explain everything again. So go check out the video. But the reason I want to update or sort of update is because one of our buddies from Australia sent me something that I am so pumped to have in this package is dun, 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 dun. Let me get it out. Look at this brochure for the type rz come on come on this is this is next level stuff if you uh if you have a type rz and you don't have this do you really have type rz no i'm just playing this is cool though the brochure has basically everything about the type rz when it was being offered new uh from the dealer it's a japanese brochure because this car was only available in japan but you can see all of the features that this came with and uh, everything about the RZ right here. So cool. I'm extremely, extremely happy to have this. Look, look at the power, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, all the specs, everything about the RZ in this. And I have a brochure. I've never even seen one of these. And our buddy Ike from Australia, you know who you are, man. Shout out, Ike. He hooked it up big. So uh, I'm really, really happy about this. This is cool. I wonder if I'm the only person in the world that has a Type RZ and a Type RZ brochure. <laughs> it's got to be very few, especially 93, huh? Cool. Anyway, that's the update. <laughs> Cruising in a K truck. This is this is what it's for. This is kind of a cool little uh, little little thing. I just wanted to show you guys. So cruising around in one of the K trucks. This is one of the ones I have on the farm. Um, really good unit. It's got a dump bed. All kinds of good stuff on it. Four-wheel drive, diff lock, everything. So I'm towing over a little tractor. As you can see. And we're gonna go over to my folks' house because they've got a pile of logs. And I'm gonna see what I can do with this thing. So mini truck, mini tractor. It's a good day. For those who don't know, I, I'm into like tractors, obviously. So here's the tree. It's a pile, but we're getting all the pieces of the trunk. You can see this uh, little tractor. I use the little tractor and run into the pile and then dislodge all this, the sections of the trunk. 
and stick them in the back of the little carry truck. And then we'll go dump them. No, they are. It's only stuck. But you might have to move forward. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. They are all out now. There you go, there's a pile of tree right there. The little K truck that could. You can see four low, no problem, gets on this. This is loose leaves, and it's actually got a little elevation to it. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty good for... Look at the elevation. Yeah. So, I mean, these, these little trucks are so like versatile. You cannot, yeah, it's like a five foot elevation. Yeah. You cannot go wrong with one of these. They fit in the tightest of areas. You can see we're in a service ditch and uh and just go into the woods just like that so uh if you're um cutting a tree down get to one of these shout out to my mom for helping me with the camera work there um you know they've got a, a wooded piece of property that they live on and there's lots of trees falling and stuff happening so Every once in a while, they call me up to get my equipment out there so that we can, you know, move stuff around and get stuff done. These trucks are so versatile, though. I can't say that enough. Um, I have a couple of them in stock. If you guys are interested, just hit me up. Send an email. I have the, the original, the JDM situation. I'm looking to, to offload that one. So if you're interested in that little truck, just give me a holler. Make, we, can, we can make a deal on it for sure.
Um, they're relatively inexpensive. They're a lot less money than, say, like a new side-by-side -side or something like that. And they've got heat, they've got a windshield, they've got doors, they're 4x4. Four four. Um, they're road legal here in Florida, where actually that one is registered and I drive it around all over the place. So titled, insured, everything. Um, either way, let me know. Also, we have a couple of other Tay cars in stock still. If you're interested, we've got a Honda Beat. We've got the uh, Kara, the Suzuki Kara, which is actually an AZ1. Kind of a cool, super rare car. Both of which are in stock, ready to go. Titled, landed, no questions asked. So um, anyway, that'll probably do it for this video. I got some, some more stuff that I'm going to try and do around the farm. I got the tractors going. If you haven't seen some of the tractor stuff that I've done, I know it sounds funny, but if you haven't seen some of the tractor stuff I've done, go check it out because they're actually pretty cool. I've got like five or six of these little tiny garden tractors. Uh, the Cup Cadet is really a versatile machine. I've got that John Deere Saber. We did the whole build on that with the twin cylinder and everything. Um, and just, just some fun stuff. Chris was doing that stuff with me too. It's too bad we couldn't do some more tractor stuff. But hey, we even had a tractor meet. Marcus had his tractor. We had a whole bunch of tractors out at one time. So either way, let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, and if you want a K-Truck, make sure you hit me up. I'll see you guys in the next one.